The Washington Wizards had a productive offseason. They brought in talent to help Bradley Beal push and get to the playoffs. They drafted Denny Abdia and Cassius Winston in the draft. Denny fell into the Wizards' laps, and he is a playmaker and a guy who can really help this team offensively and as well as provide solid defense. This team has good off the ball pieces and he will work as another ball handler on the team. This team signed Davis Bertans lights out shooter and he got paid. 5 years, 80 million, so that automatically means the Wizards won the 2020 free agency flat out plain and simple. And they signed Robin Lopez and brought back Raul Neto. But the biggest offseason move was bringing in Russell Westbrook. They traded John Wall and a future pick for Westbrook. Now Westbrook elevates this team. He can get your team to the playoffs. What happens in the playoffs is up in the air, but he is competitive and he elevates your team to a playoff level. Something the Wizards want to get back to. This trade sparks me that maybe the Wizards don't have faith in John Wall being the guy next to Beal anymore with the whole John Wall being confused by Bradley Beal being the man now which can cause some chemistry issues and the John Wall party stuff and his injury history I don't think this team was 100% sold on Wall anymore plus Wall really really wanted to play with Cousins and pushed for this team to sign him but obviously that they didn't those are factors onto why Wall may not be a wizard anymore. This will be a playoff threat. Westbrook and Beal can become something really special because Westbrook can push the tempo of the team, can be a great finisher, and the man has shooting threats around him. Bertans, Denny, Beal. And Westbrook now is being reunited with Scott Brooks is another storyline. Their history goes back to OKC and that should help make the transition smooth for Westbrook. But I feel this trade does eliminate questions of their point guard health. Is their point guard going to be playing at a high level? Westbrook is older than John Wall but played great last season for the Rockets. Playoffs, as I said, is another story though. Beal can play off ball. Beal will thrive with Westbrook because he now has another guy who could play at a high level who is healthy to help lead this team. Beal won't be tasked to doing all the playmaking and all the scoring. The Wizards do have a solid roster. Now my main concerns comes from the defensive side. The team was flat out terrible defensively and the Wizards really didn't make any moves to improve on their defense other than say Robin Lopez maybe. So that has to be a question mark with this team. The Wizards were a really good offensive team last season, but their defense really brought them down. They couldn't stop anyone. You can have a great offense, but if you have no sort of defense on your team, you're not really going to be a championship threat. The championship teams of the league have great offense and a good balance of defense to complement it. I don't know if the Wizards have that defense on this team. Now the signing of a Robin Lopez may help the interior defense. Now he is 32 and maybe better as a backup big, but he can at least help on a defensive end. Hachimura, Thomas Bryant, and the young guys on this team has to step up, have to get better defensively as a team because that will make or break this team. They will score a lot of points with the pieces they have, but can they stop anyone? The Wizards really want to run it with Beal as their main guy, and a lot of people, fans, were really, really wanting to see Beal be traded, but it wasn't happening. You got to build around him and make a push for the playoffs. Their defense is something that has to be improved with this team, but the Wizards made good moves to really help build around Bradley Beal and get back into playoff contention.